Whenever you're ready. Well, it's hard to know where to start, or even how to say it. I was so young when it all began. I'm not sure if I even remember the first time it happened. Just tell us what you remember. You said Santa came into your room while you were sleeping. Well, yes. Yes, he did. It was very dark, and of course I was frightened. And cold. I remember trembling as he moved closer to my bed. Then what happened? Well, he pulled this huge red candy cane out of his pants, and he wanted me to lick it. And did you? I did. And then what happened? It was the same thing every time. He gave me this candy, which I think had something in it. Sugar, maybe. Whatever it was, it made me act differently. Like I was all hepped up or something. I'm a diabetic, you know. Go on. Well, then he would lure me out of my room with this candy. Said he wanted to show me the real world. Which sounded okay, but when he would tie me up and do strange things with me. Like what? This is where it gets hard to remember. I'm not sure if I blocked it out or just blacked out. But in my mind, all I could see was myself flying. And how often did this happen? I'd say about once a year. Excuse me? Yeah, maybe once a year. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? What? Once a year? Yeah. And would that once a year just happen to fall on Christmas Eve? Now that you mention it. Oh, my God. I can't believe you guys punked me again. What? What did I do? Your producer said that I should bring this to you. Oh, sure, my producer said. By the way, everybody, this is Rudolph. Hey, you job. promised me anonymity. You guys got me again. I am going to get you. I am coming for you. This is not going to happen again. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to look either.